morning. Good night, everyone. My name is Thea Starr, aka Empress T of Empress Royale Publishing, where everything tells a story. Tonight we have with us up and coming author, Mr. Damian Hernandez, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Damien's book is named Born Great. And this is the book that sheds light on the road to, su to success. Now we're going to give Damien some time to introduce himself. Okay. So great night, each and every one um, in Trinidad and Tobago and including the globe. Um, as she said, Damien Hernandez is my name. You know, I'm pretty excited about what's happening. This is my first book. And um, um, just a little background about me. I'm, well, I'm 36 years young, right? Um, also a speaker too as well. Uh, I do networking. I'm married for eight years to my beautiful wife, Candice Hernandez. I have two beautiful kids. My son, six years. My daughter is two. And um, yeah, so that is just it about yeah. me Rachel. so i'm very excited about my first book and and i'm really glad that you know i must big up and pay much respect to giselle who put me on to miss valerie so i'm here and <laughs> i believe there's some stuff you're gonna hear about me tonight and get some insight about the book and you know so yeah it's all about excitement and great accomplishments here right so without further ado, let's begin. What inspired you to start writing? The reason why I start writing is because um, I could have always write. I was doing it in school. I was good at essays, comprehensions, and that kind of stuff. But after school, I didn't really pay no attention. But what really inspired me to write is because it's a gift that I've discovered like a year and a half ago. And you know, with, while discovering that gift, I said, Damien, why don't you write a book, you know, to inspire and motivate people and, you know, really know people, the importance of life and why we exist on earth. So as in the, in, in the introduction in the book, you know, I said one of my main goals is actually to talk and to help as much much people as I can while I'm on this earth, right? Let them know the truth, to let them know the reason why we exist on earth. And I'm passionate about writing. And, and even though this is my first book, I'm going to begin another book because the goal is not just to write a book, but to be a writer. Wow. Right? Wow. So that is some phenomenal stuff. So when I discovered that, that gift, I say, yes, they need to write not just a book, but books reach the people because i mean writing a book even though i could inspire people online i could inspire people one-on-ones or go to seminars or whatever it is i want to be able to reach people globally if not physically they could read it in the book so yeah that's my goal okay what in your opinion is the most important element of a good writer what makes a great writer? Uh, a great writer is, for me, as a first-time author, is to inspire and motivate and uplift people. And I'm not just writing stories and just for writing, writing sake, but it's all about cons, you know, showing people with how you you could you could also write a book too. I could encourage you if you want to write a book, you know, because just the other day I was talking to a friend and she was telling me, she you know, hey Damien, I want to write a book too as well. So I say, all right, but the first thing you need to do is to begin. All right. Yeah. So writing for me, yes, to inspire, to uplift, to motivate and encourage people. Great. When did you first consider yourself a writer? I know you talked about your childhood, but when did you first consider yourself? Yes, I am a writer. I'm an author. When did that happen? That happened 
we're in December. That yeah. happened like around in October. Yeah, October of last year, 2019. October 2019. Is there something that transpired that made you think, hey, I'm a writer? Anything that happened, anything major happened? Yeah, actually, um, I was listening to one of my favorite motivational speaker and he was saying, you know, everybody have gifts and everybody have goals and dreams and it have things that you want to accomplish. Like somebody who want to have that business, somebody who want to accomplish, you know, want to build a hospital, want to do something great in life, right? And and in that line, he said, what it is keeping you back, for, keeping you back from writing the book that you're supposed to write? And let's begin. So when he said that, I was like, Damien, you need to write the book. And the first thing I did, um, I went to a bookstore and I went, uh, I bought a, a pack of folder pages and started writing. And somebody say, hey, writing on, on paper is caveman days. You need to get a laptop, a computer, iPad or something. So with that, that, that guy, when he said that, I don't know if you heard about Eric Thomas before, but when he said that, he hit the, um, the nail on the head right there. So, and that's when I begin writing. Explain your process. What research did you do while writing your book? Or did you just have everything in your head before you started writing? Anything? Did you get any research? Did you get additional writing material? What did you do to prepare to write your book? Well, in order um, for me, to start writing you have to be a reader and i read every day every day i read a lot of books right um including the bible too as well that and i study these books right mm -hmm. and these books most of the books that i've read is all about success principles right and, and all these success principles that I, I gather information, experience, I did research, right? And also listen to other authors, right? Who do speaking and stuff, you know, and the importance of writing. So in order to write a book, you have to be a reader. If yes. you ain't reading, you can't write. Yes. That's so true. Right? And yes. so um, the, the amount of books that I've read, um, I'll just give you a few. I read the magic of thinking big. I read beyond um, beyond positive thinking. I read how to think like a millionaire. Um, I read a book uh, born to be rich. I, I read a book called how to win friends and influence people. I read a book um, um, think and grow rich. Well, one of my favorite book. All right. So all the information that I got is from stuff that I read things that I've listened to and some some of my experience too as well so yeah so as Damien pointed out the first step into writing is to read I agree with that wholeheartedly if you're not a reader then <laughs> you can't be a great writer that's a fact what yep. was the most difficult part about writing for you difficult part about writing let's see um you know i don't know if you experience this or any other author experience this in terms of when you're, you're writing so much and you're gathering so much information you feel like you run out of and write no more <laughs> but i get to understand as you're going along writing the book things just keep coming into your mind <laughs> say hey Damien you need to put this down and even though when I think that I had finished the book the book wasn't finished because I was always going back and putting something in some chapter somewhere <laughs> mm -hmm. finding something right so the the most difficult part hey how how you could make this this chapter or this this part of the book effective right to really all right when somebody's reading the book they hit them like yes Damien really people did in this book this hit me here so i was like how to really create something to get the people like hey Damien, how how to do this and then things just keep coming to my mind right i pause even when i say all right 
I'll continue writing. I missed two, three days of writing. Say, Damien, you need to study something. Go back into some book. Think about something. Talk to God and say, hey, God, guide me along the way here and show me what it is I need to do here. And um, eventually it happened. But it was it was really difficult writing because I had, I mean, for, for somebody who's writing for the first time, I never r r wrote something so long. I only wrote essays and comprehensions and that was it. So to write a book that have, all right, 12 chapters, that is a huge accomplishment for me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a difficult part. Pausing and trying to gather more information to put into the book. So, from first time authors to seasoned authors, one of the challenges for us is to condense the information to fit in the book because we always have something to say. We're always learning new things, but it's like you have to have a pause button. You have to know when to stop because you don't want it to be like an encyclope encyclopedia. So yes, that is true. That is a difficulty that we face at times. <laughs> Since your book is about success, what does success mean to you? What is your definition of success? My definition of success is, is not to seek success. What mm. I seek, I seek to become a person of value because because once you're valuable guess what people will want your time people want to hear um what what success is really about because what i look success success as is success is not something that you do success is something that you become so you have to do the work you have to have all right as always talk about passion um talk about enthusiasm talk about determination talking about drive perseverance to push forward to get what it is you want because people feel when somebody accomplish something huge they feel they get it just like that but my <laughs> definition of success is doing the things that a non-successful is a non-successful person is not willing to do right so that is the difference between somebody who is successful or not successful a successful person is willing to do the things that a non-successful person is not willing to do that's quotable right there somebody somebody get it that's a quote right there <laughs> what are you willing to do that someone else is not willing to do excellent writing a book based on personal experience can bring out emotions that we have suppressed was there ever a time during your writing that affected you emotionally? So maybe you're writing about the past, some some of the experience that you had. Anything affected you like emotionally that you just had to stop and say, whoa, I've really, you know, I've really dealt with this or I'm still going through it. Anything like that ever happened to you while writing? Yes, and that is actually in the last chapter, mm. right, about, about my dad messing up in a big way right which was the past and i was talking about people need to leave the past in the past and do not bring the past in the present if you want to move forward so this this spree that i wrote in the last chapter and i i will say the, the name of the, the chapter is be strong right mm. and my dad messed up in a huge way like being abusive to my mom physically um verbally and all these things and you know he was involved in in drugs and involved with a lot of different women and having affairs and messing up the home and it it got so serious where that story in that book where he got introduced to, to cocaine that's when it, it went to another level where at that time in my life when it really happened i think that i, I could not forgive him mm. but nevertheless i did forgive him and i love him very much and i did not hold that towards him keeping me back from moving forward because people need to understand in life if hold on to things right in the past somebody may do you wrong 
somebody may try to do you something, somebody may tell you something or try to mess up your life, you have to forgive them no matter what. Because I learned, I learned that from God. If God could forgive me, guess what? I can forgive people too as well. And even though my dad did all that stuff, turn, turn the house into a crack house where we almost finished, paid off and we had to leave the house and go on to renting. <laughs> I mean, that was, was horrible because, I mean, he, he left his children in pain. He left my mom in pain, right? Had to divorce and all this other crazy stuff. But yet still, the man who, all right, my dad is today he's yeah. not that, that man anymore <laughs> totally changed through prayer through rehab through constant communication and helping him overcome that drug addiction he's a totally changed man today so even though he did that i forgive him i love him and all I'm saying is this. People need to stop holding on to things in the past and bringing it in the present because it will not help you move forward. Why is it? Wow. And I'm sure that was probably very difficult to write about because the emotions, it comes yeah. out. It comes out. Yeah. One of the things as a writer is it's important to be in touch with your emotions and your feeling. And mm. the book takes on a whole new level when you're very, tr when you write in that emotion, in that raw state. So thank you for sharing that. No problem. What were your favorite parts or your least favorite parts of the publishing journey? So the journey is not always like exciting. What was your favorite and least favorite part about the writing journey, your journey to, publishing your book um finding a publisher <laughs> right um i must thank giselle again for putting yeah. me yeah. on to you i must i must thank the thank god for facebook that's how i connect with her right <laughs> and <laughs> And, you know, we connected because, you know, even though I'm a first time author and I also network and I connect with people and I connected with her in terms of, you know, sharing a business opportunity with her. And she said, you know, and I give her a little insight, you know, what I do and stuff. And I say, hey, I wrote a book. And say, hey, well, I, I wrote a book. I say, so what is your name? And she told me the name. And this is the person. Hey, give me a contact. I'll forward the email and you all could communicate and that kind of stuff. So um going through the process, I really experienced anything major as yet, so mm -hmm. to speak. But um the ex the 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 knowledge and the information that I got from you so far um is phenomenal. And I, I will definitely continue to do more work with you. All right. So yeah. I haven't really experienced anything major as yet in terms of publishing. <laughs> and as you would have pointed out earlier, and these are, so, wow, you're talking like a true author, is that the process and the writing is never ending. Like when, you're, when you think your book is done, it's, it's really not. But you know, you have to publish it. So nope. thank you. What advice would you give a Writer, someone just starting out or maybe they have already written a book and they're afraid of rejection so maybe they're they they think that no one is going to read their book what are some advice that you would give to people who wants to write my, or have my advice is not to think about if somebody would read your book think mm. about people that who are going to read a book that's what we're supposed to think about. What people need to think about is the things that they want rather than thinking about the things that they don't want. So when mm. they think about the things that they do want, guess what? It will definitely happen. Right? So if you're yeah, right, 
for example, you need to eliminate that fear, eliminate that doubt, eliminate that thought, that, that, that mindset that you feel, uh, if I write this book, I don't think nobody will read it, you know. No, get rid of that mindset. That is not a good mindset to have. If you know you want to write a book or you, you're, you actually write the book already and you want to begin the process of getting it out there, think about, hey, you know what? This book that I'm going to write, it is going to be effective. It is going to be impactful. People are going to read it, right? And no matter what, people would definitely want to, to hear more from me then. All right, when this author is going to write another book, yeah. Right? Because this book that I I write, guess what? I don't think this is the only book this author is going to write. I think I'm going to see something else from this author. So get in the mindset of, you know what? People are going to read my book. That is amazing. So, Damien, you're a few days away from publishing your book. How do, how do you feel? To know that what would have started at you said around October last year, and you would have heard all the motivational speeches that yes, you can write. But how do you feel that you're a few days away from seeing your book on Amazon in bookstores near you? How do you feel? <laughs> every day I think about this. Every day, every day, every single day. A day doesn't go by in the night, daytime. I just this book is going to be released sometime. I don't know when, but you have the data ready and you will see, right? <laughs> um, I, I, I just fired up and, and excited because so much people, right, since last year, October, right, I, I, I thought I would have took up about five, six months to write this book. It didn't even take that time, <laughs> right? And People are like, hey, when the book coming up? When Damien, when this book? They when it, how much for it? Guys, I do not know as yet. <laughs> but as soon as the book is launched, everybody will know. Right? I have friends assisting with the promotions, right? Um, people know what's gonna everybody come congratulating me. Wow, you write a book. Some people say, Never thought you would have write a book before, the way how you were before, and, and that kind of stuff. But yeah, so I'm really excited. I want to see, you know, imagine you're going on Amazon, you type up your name and say, hey, Damien Hernandez, <laughs> yeah. born great, did it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Is, I'm just excited to see because, you know, I have friends abroad, people in the Caribbean, you know. People just say, we, we, we want this book. We, we, we want to see what this book is. Um, what, what it has to offer. And then two people know what it is I have to offer because I do yeah. videos on Facebook to see um, some of my little content that, you know, I talk and inspire and motivate people. So now they're going to get to read some stuff, right? And even more things that they didn't hear from my voice, they're going to see it in in paper now. <laughs> so, um, I mean, <laughs> this is mind-blowing for me. Mind-blowing because so Congratulations, Damien. Yeah, we're so glad to see you write this book. You're talking about this book so long. <laughs> yeah. And wow. Yeah, I'm really, really excited because, I mean, knowing that you could you could help some somebody change their mindset in terms of the way that they're thinking. You now somebody may be down and out. Somebody may be going through some stuff. And, you know, in the book, it has stuff that could relate to other people where they could overcome to become. So I'm really, really excited that this book coming out on Amazon and all these different things, yeah? Me, Damien Hernandez, born green, Amazon. <laughs> Kindle <Kindler Ex>. paperback. <laughs> yes. So yeah. as, as a publisher and as a fellow author, I just want to say congratulations on your first book. I know that this will be one of many because it's something like, Especially, let's think about when you first get bitten by the travel bug. It's like, I went to this country and you just have this notion that you need to travel again. That's what happens with writing. When you write one book, yeah. it's like the excitement is just that, yeah, I, I can do it. And once as you write your first book, that's it. You will be so encouraged to write others. And as he would have pointed out, you will have an audience. It's 
I'm just going to be here. Your family is not going to just be a close friend. There, there are people who want to hear what you have to say because you're the only one who can say in the way that you say it. So I just want to thank yeah. Mr. Damien Hernandez for sitting with us tonight for this interview. You're welcome. And upcoming information about the book release. Okay. So if you have a manuscript that you would like to share with the world, then contact Empress Royal Publishing. We are available on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. And you can also email us at empressroyalpublishing at gmail.com. So thank you very much for tuning, tuning in. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> have a great night.